has this ever happened to you? Not again, I failed inspection! No! Hi, I'm Billy Mays here, back from the grave to help you with your inspection problems. Now, let's start off with the accessories. Now here we have two flip folders. One of them good, one of them bad. As you can see, this music might have some things marked, but where are the sets? I don't see any sets. If we look over at this one, we can see the sets are clearly marked where they occur in the music. Now, if you don't know where these occur in the music, you can always get your handy dandy cheat sheet where it'll tell you right where you need to mark them and how long each of the sets match. It's that easy. This one is a dud where this one will get you a good A. Now, for away games, there are two other things you'll need. A garment bag and a water jug. I'll show you over here. Cameraman, are you following this? One of the items that you need to bring for inspection during away games is your water jug. Make sure to bring your gray Heban band water jug specifically for football games. Also, before inspection starts, make sure that you fill up your water with clean water. You wanna be dehydrated, now do you? Now, for the, for the garment bag, you'll need this for your uniform, all right? And for your extra change of clothes when you get back. You think this is a joke? It's not a joke. I'm Billy Mays. I wouldn't lie to you. Another part of inspection that you need is good reads. If you come over here, cameraman, you'll see this reed is bent out of shape. Am I right? Bent out of shape. Not only is it chipped, but it's also bent. What you need to make sure you have. Four good reads. Look at, look at one of these. Look how clean that is. It's pristine. No chips, no lean, no bad messes. And the reason you want good reads is to make a good sound. That's obvious. Would I lie to you? I'm Billy Mays. I don't lie. Walk into inspection with this read, you'll fail. But walk in, in through inspection with these reads and you're sure to win. The first thing you'll have to have for inspection is the right apparel. Now, for a Friday night game or a football game, what you'll need is a black shirt. You're going to need your glove cut off to the knuckle. You're going to need your black shoes. And you're going to need black socks up to here. You're also going to need your blue wristband. And jewelry, you know, take that off. You don't need jewelry. No jewelry here. Now, for a competition, you'll need these gray socks along with white shoes. And that's all you need for a competition, along with all the other stuff I mentioned. Alright, and for summer uniform, as you can see, nice Braden here. He's got all three of his buttons buttoned. He's got his nice black gloves. Summer wristband, summer wristband, all in all the time wristband. Plain black belt. And these beautiful black shorts. Just look at this man. Alright, and the black calf link, crew socks, and shiny marching shoes. Just look at those things. Look at those hey, things. Hey, my hey, my eyes are up here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go, one more time, one more time. All right, now the next section of what we're going to be talking about is polishing up. You follow on this cameraman, get over here. Now, for your black shoes, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some shoe shine. So and then all these all these bad little marks there, you're just gonna scrub until they're looking looking like you can't even see them. You wanna scrub them up all good all the way around. Now your shoes aren't the only thing that need polishing. Over here we have your instrument. Now your instrument, this is not not quality condition. I can see water spots all around. Look at that! Look at that! So what you gonna wanna do? You gonna wanna get uh. A rag of some kind. This is a cleaning cloth you can get, but also towels will look work okay too. You're just going to want to scrub in there. You're going to want to get your whole saxophone with this. Now, as you can probably tell, you can't get into all those little intricate little little cracks in there. So what you're going to want to do? Want to get your Q, uh, your Q-tips? Going to get need a couple of these 
inside all those little cracks there you're going to want to scrub it down until it's looking clean and pristine am i right clean and pristine With, for your mouthpiece other than needing good reeds which we talked about you want to also scrub this down scrub this down with your q-tips you can also clean this off with some water but no no soap or anything because that can damage it and also your neck Similar treatment as your horn. You just scrub it down. You can do it with the polishing crop. It's that easy. Now, here to help me with another part in inspection is one of your leaders, Allie Thomas, my good, a good friend of mine. Now, let's talk about hair, all right? So basically what you have to do is you have to get a nice and tidy bun. No flyaways, no flyaways. Also hairpins, try to match the color of your hair, you know, so they don't stick out. But no matter what, your headband has got to be black. Got to be Hebron black. Got to match it. Now with boys, boys like, I, I get you, I understand you. Your hair has got to be cut. This hair isn't good. This hair, this hair. This hair knows it's got to go. It's falling off my face. You got to shave that off. You got to get your hair cut. You got to get your hair cut. You got to look pristine and nice. Just like your band director, Mr. Seeley, always says. Follow these rules and you'll be shooing to be great in inspection. I can't work with these people. Wait a second. I can't work in these conditions. Um. You're really good I'm sure you're not. Another! <laughs>